This is Chris with Micro Center Support. I'm going to show you how to bring back the Quick Launch Toolbar in Windows 7. One alternative might be to add the App Launcher gadget to your desktop. You can download this and other gadgets from the internet. Just right click on the desktop, select gadgets, and then look for the link Get More Gadgets Online. You could also change the Windows 7 taskbar to use small icons. Right click on the taskbar, select properties, add a checkbox next to use small icons. I find neither of these methods to be as useful as the quick launch toolbar available in Windows XP and Vista. To bring this back, first you have to be able to navigate to a hidden directory. To do so from an explorer window such as my computer, click on organize, select folder and search options. Click on the view tab. Near the top you should find hidden files and folders. Change the option to show hidden files, folders, and drives. Click OK when you're done making changes. You're now ready to add the quick launch toolbar. To do so, right click on the taskbar, select toolbars, and then select new toolbar. Navigate to your users folder. You'll usually find this under C colon, users, and then your username. Continue navigating. Open the folder called App Data. This is a hidden folder. Click Roaming, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, then select but don't open the Quick Launch folder. Click the Select Folder button at the bottom of the window. Before you can move the new toolbar, you need to unlock the taskbar. Right click on the taskbar and click on Lock the Taskbar if there's a check next to it. When the new taskbar is created, text and titles are turned on. Right click on the toolbar and remove the check next to show text, then repeat this to remove the check next to show title. You will find that you cannot drag the quick launch toolbar to the left of the Windows 7 taskbar. Instead, move the taskbar to the right of the quick launch bar to exchange their positions. Add your shortcuts by dragging and dropping, moving, copying, or using cut and paste. Lock the taskbar when you're happy with the results. Note, Quick Launch Toolbar is saved for your individual settings. If several people are sharing the computer, you would have to repeat this process for each user.